got a question here that starts with a little bit of analysis and then it goes on to testing your knowledge of some organic reactions. So if I just quickly scroll through and then you can have a go at answering it and then I'll go through the answers. So first part of the question, students analyse a mixture of compounds in red wine using gas chromatography followed by mass spec. And there's two compounds present. And then quick question, how does gas chromatography separate the compounds in the mixture? There's the mass spectrum of the first compound to emerge. And we have to identify the compound responsible for the spectrum and give a reason. And then what does your answer here suggest about the interaction of this compound with the phases present in the column? Part C moves on to your knowledge of organic reactions. So in red wine, compound A slowly forms an ester. So that's going to end up in here. And we've got to complete the boxes in the flow chart. Next part of the question, we've got to give the mechanism to show the formation of C in reaction one. And then the last part of the question, one mole of compound B reacts with two moles of bromine by electrophilic substitution. We have to write a balanced equation and show clearly the structure of the organic compound. So the answers now, part A, how does gas chromatography separate the compounds in the mixture? Well, the key to this question was the fact that the um, solid beads were coated with a liquid polymer. So the interaction between the compounds and the stationary phase, which is this liquid polymer, is by solubility. And so I would say relative solubility. Which compound was responsible for the spectrum? Well, this is the key peak in the mass spectrum. It's the molecular ion peak, MIP, and it's coming out with an MR of 1, 2, 4. And then you just work out the MRs of the two compounds. Compound B must give this spectrum because it has an MR of 1, 2, 4, whereas compound A is a little bit lighter at 1, 2, 2. What does your answer to BI suggest about the interaction of this compound with the phases in the column? So we'll just go back to the information in the question. This is the mass spectrum of the first compound to emerge. So it's coming through the fastest, and so it has the least interaction with the stationary phase, and so it's less soluble in that liquid stationary phase. And now the reactions. So you need to look at what's changing. So the change is the aldehyde group has gone to the carboxylic acid group. You can see I've written it in red there. So what reagent would bring that about? Acidified potassium dichromate. And you can see I've actually specified sulfuric acid in there because maybe H plus wouldn't quite be enough. So acidified potassium dichromate. NABH4, as a little reminder, is a reducing agent. So what's it going to do? It's going to reduce the aldehyde group to a primary alcohol group. And so the structure of compound C would look like that. And then the ester will be formed by basically taking a water molecule out and forming an ester bond between this alcohol group and this carboxylic acid group. So you've got to flip this molecule around and form the ester bond like that. 
maybe in hindsight we should have shown the full structure of that ester bond so you'd have C double bond O, single bond O and then the CH2 onto the pentene. The mechanism for the formation of compound C, so what, what's that reaction? It's the reduction of an aldehyde and we show the reducing agent. We don't use NABH4 in the mechanism, we use an H minus ion. So we show clearly the dipole in the C double bond O. So the curly arrow must start from, well I've shown the minus sign, so minus sign, or it could be from a lone pair, must start from there and that goes to the carbon delta plus, which repels the pi electron pair completely onto that O. That would generate this intermediate with the minus sign on the O, bring in a water molecule, show the dipole, curly arrow from the minus sign on the O to the H delta plus and then break that bond with the curly arrow. And then the last part of the question, we've got to react one mole of compound B with two moles of bromine and it's got to be by electrophilic substitution. So we've got to take an H off the benzene ring and replace it, substitute with a Br. So we're going to form each time a mole of HBr and so I've put the two BRs there and there's my two moles of HBr that would form. And I've written a note there, this is from the mark scheme. The two BRs can substitute anywhere on the ring. 